Good morning. <laughs> right, this is Rachel Roxy Creations Challenge this week. Um, I didn't do last time because um, I just didn't. Um, doilies. Now, she used digital doilies. I didn't want to go to the pain of buying digital doilies. So I found these images. I don't know where from. Probably a Pinterest find. But what I've done is I've got my Sizzix dies and my um, Spellbinder dies. And I've just chopped the images into, well, doilies, basically. And I thought, instead of getting digital ones, I've got millions. And I mean millions and millions and millions <laughs> of paper doilies. So I thought, well, do you know what? We'll give it a go with paper doilies, which are just all falling on the floor now. So... What I'm thinking, I've got this piece of book page at the back here that I've obviously just used as a runoff when I've been um, gel printing and stuff. So I thought, well, that will give it a nice colourful background. It's an index page. I love index pages. I love numbers and that kind of thing. Um, so I'm thinking, stick these on in a completely random way. I don't think I'll use the coloured ones. No, I think I'll keep it quite neutral. Um, these are mainly white, undyed. I have got some that I've obviously coffee dyed or tea dyed in the past. I don't coffee dye. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking I'll stick these all over and then um, probably with a glue stick, I might do it with... I've got my gel matte medium out here. Um, I don't know. I don't know whether to... Because the trouble with using a glue stick on doilies is it all comes out through the holes. That's why I'm thinking I'll use the gel matte medium to put these all down. I might risk a glue stick with these. I don't know. Let's get sticking anyway. What I'll have to do is pause you um, while this dries. That is the only problem. I don't like pausing when I'm doing these, but I'm going to have to. So, Shall we get started? Let's see what this looks like first of all. I've got a glass mat under here that I can then lift up and move it. It's a really sunny day, so hopefully if I put it on the window so it won't take too long to dry, but well, we shall see. Right, um, yeah, I'm not going to need all these, so let's just shift them to the side, get all the random bits of paper off, and let's get gluing. So, I hope everybody's good. I hope you're having... A cracking day hang on uh, if you're new here very welcome um if i could get my <laughs> oh come on thank you it's nearly at the end this one so i have left it upside down to get maximum amount of gel matte medium out so let's just put a good splodge of that on there Right, <laughs> I've got my silicon spatula thingy. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to do this because gluing these down with a glue stick is like mission impossible, and I'm hoping they're gonna go fairly translucent because I really want to see all those lovely numbers and things. So, anyway, as I was saying, I hope everybody's well, I hope you're having a great day. It's um, what's it? It's Friday today. I've just had to have a session of physiotherapy because um, yeah, back pain. I've got an old back injury. I did it when I was uh, 24, um, and it's coming back to bite me now in my late 50s. <laughs> Joy, joys of getting old. Um, yeah, so. I've just been given a load of exercises that I have to do and I've got to go back and see her in a month. My job is not helping. It's a very sedentary job where I'm sat on my backside most of the day and, you know, and also in crafting as well. Because she said, what's your hobbies? And I said, well, <laughs> well, uh, yeah, it's a very sedentary hobby as well where I'm sat on my bottom a lot. So anyway, so that's that. We mustn't moan. I'm not doing too bad, apparently, for somebody in her late 50s. So that's all good. <laughs> oh 
see. I hate getting old. I used to be so fit. So, so fit. And it's just one of those things, isn't it? But then I was running around with three children, two big dogs, job, you know, the usual things that we get up to in our 30s and 40s. And now I don't have a dog, which I want to change, but I don't feel it's fair. Well, in the UK, they won't let you have a dog if you are out at work. So until my company decide whether we are going to be permanently working from home or not, um, I wouldn't be allowed to adopt a dog, strangely. And yet there's hundreds of dogs that need adopting. It's not like um, it would be um, on its own for a lot. Do I overlap that? Um, probably not, actually. Let's put one of these on. I'm liking they're going translucent. Are you just going to get a hint that there is doilies in their background there? So that's all good. Yes, they won't let you adopt dogs. And that's why the, um, the puppy, the demand for puppies at the moment from breeders has gone up exponentially because they don't have that same... Um, criteria you can just adopt a dog i don't think they really care where well they care i'm not saying they don't they care where it's going but um they kind of don't have the same the same requirement that you're at home all day with the dog I'm probably talking a load of rubbish but anyway and that's as i say that's why the demand for puppies has gone up so much from breeders, which I expect they're very pleased about. Um, ooh, it's a bit samey there, isn't it? Put one of these there. As I've got a ton of these, I might put another layer on. I don't know. God, you certainly go through this stuff, don't you? say that one is empty now um right just need a few more i feel It is a new pot though. And that's the um, Galleria one. They're all about the same to be honest with you. So brand wise I could I can just pick it up in Hobbycraft, that's the only reason I've got this one. I like the Liquitex one, there's all sorts out there so um, let's tear you in half. No idea what this is going to look like. They really are disappearing, but that might be enough. Hmm. 
although as I say I have got loads so I could go in with another layer I'm going to because these have literally melted into the background and I did want them to be a little bit more visible than that so I particularly like these ones they're quite bold slightly thicker paper but you have to be very careful because they want to they don't want to separate very easily and I can feel there's two there so probably three actually Once it's all chopped up, they, they kind of land randomly anyway, so it might just be one. So, yes, if you're like me and you've got hundreds of these blooming things, then, um, you know, let's see how this turns out, shall we? You might go, mm-hmm. Not doing that, that's pretty pants. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> right, I think that'll do. I think we're going to get the effect, although that one's gone incredibly pale there. Um, that's slightly different. No, they're the same, aren't they? Maybe I should have put some coffee dyed paper underneath first. Oh well, too late. It's going to completely cover that little one. Right, we're going to let that dry. These might come back up again. So um, yeah, I'm going to let that dry and come back to you. I think is probably the easiest thing. Um, I might hit it with the heat gun to speed it up a bit. But um, yeah. So, for you, I will be back in a second. <laughs> All right, won't be long. Right, so we're more or less dry, so that's all good. They did come back a little bit, but um, I don't know if you can see. You can just get a hint of the doilies in the background there, so I think it's going to be okay, actually. I missed a couple of bits there, but uh, it's a little bit soggy, but that should be fine. I won't cut it until it's um, completely dry. So, anywho, where were we? I saw some bits here that hadn't quite been stuck properly. So, I'll just put a little bit of glue under there. Now, I'm thinking I might cut it into thirds that way. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't really planned that. But anyway, um, oh, I think we'll just stick them on. I was going to try and be terribly clever and uh, I'm just using my glue book here off to the side, which is not cooperating. Um, just, I think we'll just stick them. They, they, they'll fall where they fall, and it's as simple as that, really. I'm hoping I've got enough here, actually. I think initially I'll put them where I've got bald spots and uh, go from there. So yeah, you don't have to buy a digital, just um, use what you've got basically. I'll say these were just, I had a bit of a sort out because I had, I keep a lot of, if I see something that inspires me, I'll sort of download the image and, and keep it, print it, whatever. Um, and I... I was keeping them in folders basically and I, I went through them all and I was yeah I thought yeah I'm never going to do that and I'm never going to do that so I just um, got all these images out of my folder 
but luckily didn't throw them away and when I saw Rachel doing this I thought well I wonder if I could you know cut cut doilies basically doily shapes anyway um, we'll see it might not work you might not see this video <laughs> but they're obviously images of embroidered stuff so um, yeah we'll see it might not work it might be rubbish in which case we don't have to use it This is exciting for you, isn't it? Are you entertained? <laughs> oh dear. Um, let's put you down here. I'm going to orientate everything that way because I'm thinking I'm going to cut it that way and then down that way. Um, I might do I might do tag shapes as well. Yeah, don't know. Got to make that decision at some point, but not right now. Ugh. I'm not the fastest at this, I, you know, Rachel just zooms through and I I don't. <laughs> this is the painful way. Okay, my page is getting very gluey. I don't know if you can see it, it's just off to the side here. It's just my old map book that uh, I've got everything out of it that I want to, so... Um, I'm just using the other pages as glue fodder. Um, oh, it's a bit large that one. Oh, where am I going to put you? I'm not going to need too many more actually. I should have cut these a little bit smaller, I think. Yeah, that size would have been better. Oh, they're all a bit big. That might be enough, you know, because by the time I get my images on there, the images or the things that I'm going to use to decorate are my uh, Tim Holtz flower die cut things. And um, I picked up these uh, Brook Bond tea cards. So I'm thinking I'll just use those on there. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, that kind of thing would be ideal as well. So I thought I might as well use them. They had, I checked to see if they were worth loads of money on eBay and they're not. <laughs> so we won't be using them for that. But I thought on, um, well, maybe not, I don't know. Looking at them now, I'm not sure. Oh, fiddly dee. Some cuts here. Um, Right, I've run out of room. Yeah, these have not been cut. Sorry, I'm faffing as usual. Yeah, I might use some of these actually. And I've got my birds as well, so yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure they'll work. I've got two of those. No, I haven't got two of those. I'm lying. Hmm. Um. Yeah, and I've got butterflies. Yeah, I might leave those for another project. I think I'll definitely put some of these on. I think it's dry enough for cutting. Do need to do oh sorry bash the camera there sorry um i need to stick some paper on the back so i have got out these bits of tea dyed and what have you paper so let's get that stuck on put those on the floor Ooh, you're a nice one you are staying there it's a spotty one um right glue stick me do like to just have plain paper if some of these are used for pockets you know so be it but um they're probably going to be tags and things so
Rainbow Rock League take. <laughs> Need to get a wobbly line. Um, a little bit of colour thrown through won't hurt. Let's because that's all covered. I'm risking it if I try and cut it. It's still quite damp. Shall I try? If it snags on it, the first cut, I will um, pause you again, I'm afraid, and um, come back to you. Let's get the cutter. Might be alright, it's a pretty sharp guillotine, but. So. If I chop it in half and then half again, so it measures 30, mine's a centimetre one, let's say 36, so if I cut it at 18, yeah I can feel this is quite soggy so I might be really pushing my luck here, although it's behaving, so 18, so if I go 9, Do 12 I'll have a couple of tags and then these can be German card size it's very sticky <laughs> I really am pushing my luck um, so what do you measure let's say 26 so 13 I don't want to uh, Nines are 27. So if I go nine, it's quite a nice journaling card size. Yeah, see, that one's ended up with nothing on it apart from a little bit up there. So we can add more though, can't we? Right, let's just tidy this one up. I can do that with scissors. Right, so ugh, these are very sticky. Let me put them on the windowsill to dry a bit. These aren't as pretty as Rachel's, but you don't come here to see that. <laughs> this is incredibly sticky. Got that sticky bit there. Um, what did I do? I'm going to go 12, have some fatter tags on this It's quite 
nice size like I like that. Um nine. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I might have to pause you because these are incredibly sticky and icky. I need to put them on the windowsill to dry rapidly, but it might not happen. Um Right, so if we say these are going to be tags, and these are 26, so I think, let's see, 13, they'll be quite big, but I quite like big tags actually, so let's go for big tags. Girl, you see how sticky they are, I don't think you can tell by the way I'm going to pick them up. Yeah, I'm going to do these all big tags, I think. I think I put too much glue on. <laughs> right, well, maybe we can do these two because they're not too bad. Is out of the way. Right, we'll work on those and hopefully those others will dry whilst we're doing these. stitch around mine I mean it's you know you don't have to obviously these are quite big images but sometimes just a little bit coming on or maybe these would be good on here If anybody has got a fantastic way of storing these, can you let me know what it is, please? Because it doesn't seem to matter what I do, they end up getting all caught up together. So, right, let's make a tag top there for a start. You don't have to do this. You don't. Um, you can just put. Um, a tab top on them you don't have to cut them which is probably what I'll do for the rest of them but right. I need space okay. you guys need to move we we'll use you on the bigger ones okay I'm not going to get as many as Rachel done I can tell you that now <laughs> it's not going to happen Do I like that? No, I think I do. Right, okay. Um, uh, 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 why didn't I get my butterflies out? Where are they? Sorry, I'm looking at the back here. So let's see if we've got a little bird. All too big. Oh, Robin, I look nice there, though. I just do a very, really bad fussy cut around here.
mucky bucket there. I don't know why I'm fussing around putting it in the bin. I do just like to take the white edge off mine. I know Rachel doesn't bother, but... Yeah, I like him. Right. Okay. Um, bum, bum, bum. I think I'll just use the art glitter glue. I think it's quicker sometimes than glue stick. Right. I'm trying to think if there's anything to tell you. Not really. Um, it's been a long work week this week so I've not really been out much apart from doing a bit of food shopping a bit boring had some nice Etsy sales thank you for those that have bought off me very kind I know one is a subscriber so thank you um Yeah, I haven't really done much this week. As I say, it's um, when it's a long work week, I um, I tend not to do much. I'm still a bit nervous about going out too much anyway with this blinking virus. It's, um, oh, you know, all the youngsters at work were saying how they're going to this festival and that festival. I was like, don't do it. Oh dear, I do worry, but you know, oh, these tails hanging off, a few stuck. Oh, that's the trouble with that glitter glue. Right, I'm sorry, I know it's cruel, but sorry, little birdie. Right. One. Now then, somewhere here, buried, I've got my little labels. Where are you? I do like a little label because Rachel's right it does finish it off sometimes see little brown label that'll do these were a freebie download printable on Pinterest um, don't ask me who I can't remember right there we are one <laughs> Ooh. yeah don't need to do anything on the back I might stitch around these actually but they are incredibly soggy at the moment, so I'm not even going to attempt it right now. But, yeah, cool. Yeah, because they're starting to come apart there already. So, yeah, they need stitching. Um, if you don't stitch, then you must glue literally right to the edges. So, I just want to see how long we've been going, like 34. I might be able to get a journaling card done. Um, where was that really plain one? there let's have a look at you yeah these are very soggy and I do like to round the corners but I think I'm pushing me luck kind of having it but yeah I am pushing my luck <laughs> This is the one that only had that little bit on it so um i'm thinking i might what i might do is put these back through the die cut machine and cut them down again although that'd be quite nice on there wouldn't it um you have a pink flower pinkish you don't like you I've got the pink. 
pink. I'm not a pink person. Yeah, if you've got a brilliant way of storing these, <laughs> share. Oh, look at them. They drive me insane, but I love them. I love them to bits, but yeah, you can see the struggle. I'm only going to get two done. <laughs> I'm telling you now. Oh, that's quite a nice one. See, maybe not that. Maybe not that at all. Nope. Let's see if we can find another little birdie. <clears throat> had some actually fussy cut not these ones yes I do again no idea where I got these from they'd be quite cute on there wouldn't they you need something to sit on though. Though I could go in with a big boy. That's a bit too big. He's quite nice. Because he picks up on that bit of red on the background there. Maybe we just put leaves with Mr. Parrot because that'll pick up on his green there we can sit him on there actually we could sit him right in the middle there what do you think about that? think that might be good. Is that too much? I'm just going to go with the leaves I think. Yeah, leaves, right, okay. <clears throat> oh, these were right faff, I remember these. I should do what Artie Mays does and just put the glue on my hand and then dab it into the glue. But... Might be enough. Don't stick to me. Thank you. I'll get rid of that. You can sit there, my friend. Again, I just want to get rid of that. Quite a bad white line on that one.
yeah not too much doily on that one but you're getting a nice lacy effect in the back here with the um the other doilies so again it needs another label i'm thinking that one would be quite good what do you think down there Too much. Yeah, I quite like that there. Let's just knock back that white a bit. Well. I think that's enough actually. Do you need any more? No, I don't think so. No, I'm going to stop. I think that's fine. I think that's enough. Yeah. And then that'll be the back. Again, it needs a bit of TLC. I didn't do a terribly good job at sticking. But that all looks good to me. See, it's a bit drier now. I'm going to fit in. Kind of. We're probably at the end of our 45 minutes. I know Rachel went over slightly, but I want to stop. Yeah, ish. Okay, right. Um, probably if you do this and you use gel matte medium, um, you need to not film it <laughs> and uh, give it plenty of time to dry because I'm really struggling to get the... Um, yeah, it's... I don't know, how do I describe it? It's very sticky and very uncomfortable to work with at the moment. So, um, yeah, needed more time to dry. But the other ones are drying spectacularly and curling like mad. So I'll bring them in and show you those. Tidy up this holy mess I've got here. Yeah, I guess you could have just gone in with a big floral if you wanted to. But, um, yeah, so some of them came out really cool, you know, with the background. So... Um, a lot of these won't need an awful lot doing. So anyway, I'll put the, let me move those and I'll show you these. So there's two. Yeah, they've got all curly, they're so wet. Three. Four. That'll be a tag. Very sticky that one, gosh. Yeah, these are far too damp to do stuff with at the moment. So yeah, give them plenty of time to dry if you use gel matte medium. I kind of had to, I didn't have solid doilies to cut out. Um, because I don't have the printables. So there we are. There we are. Anyway, yeah, I think they'll be um interesting once they're all done. Um if I remember, I will show you. Maybe on the next one if I do Rachel's next challenge. I don't do loads of them because I don't um, I don't sell an awful lot of journals to be honest. So anyway, there we are. <laughs> right, so we did little Robin and the birdie, the parrot. So um, yeah, I might carry on do some other uh, with the flowers and things, but. I just thought it'd be an alternative if you don't have the digitals and you don't want to buy the digitals, um, get your paper ones out and uh, use your dies to die cut yourself some doily looking, you know, flowery papers and stuff. So, um, yeah, I think these were just, the, these ones were too big. It needed the little ones. I say that is quite dominant, you know, but yeah, we'll work with it. We'll do something with it and, um. You know, it might just simply need 
a flower type thing on it maybe i don't know or another bird or a couple of butterflies or something yeah anyway right, i'm gonna let you go because that's 40 folks 46 minutes already so i hope you enjoyed that i hope it gave you a bit of inspiration and um yeah i will see you on the next video all right bye